government of india has uh, started the rntcp program which was uh, made in whole of the country on 26th march 2006 we entered in the second phase of uh, tuberculosis control program and uh, we had uh, stopped tb strategy we added two more programs in uh, the second phase of uh, uh, tuberculosis control program that is uh, the treatment of drug resistance tb cases and uh, secondly the treatment of uh, tb and hiv um, patients both these programs were added in 2006 in the second phase and we are just expanding these programs presently we have been ensuring that uh, the tb control program takes uh, a different kind of uh, uh, way so that uh, we can treat all those cases which are suffering from mdr tb presently out of uh, 12000 uh, roughly cases 5716 cases of uh, mdr have already been diagnosed and have been put under the dots plus treatment that is the treatment for mdr tuberculosis from the second phase we have gone to the third phase at this uh, moment and uh, we have been uh, the national strategy in mind in which we have uh, the government of india in with along with uh, the ngos like tb association of india and other ngos are uh, planning to ensure to provide the universal access to the all tb patients apart from this standards of tb care have also been uh, uh, propagated so that uh, these uh, uh, people those who are treating the patient of uh, tuberculosis particularly in the private as well as in the government sector follows the standards of tb care so that most of the patients who are put on treatment can be cured at the end of the day we expect that uh, the uh, that uh, the prevalence and uh, the mortality will further fall by 2025 and uh, it will be reduced to 95% and uh, to the tune of 90% uh, in, uh, in the prevalence as well as the mortality by 2035 we also expect that uh, the incidence of the disease will show fall by 2013 we had uh, about uh, 171 uh, cases of per lakh per year of new cases that are diagnosed and we expect it to fall to a greater extent by 2035 the biggest challenge that are coming up uh, for uh, achieving these targets is the diagnosing the sputum positive cases to which uh, still are not diagnosed uh, and secondly to identify all those cases of mdr xdr and uh, the patients with the tb and hiv so that all these patient could be diagnosed and put on treatment government of india's efforts have been combined with uh, the ngos as well as with the private sector but uh, there are challenges to involve the private sector as most of uh, the private sector doctors still are not uh, very very good in prescribing anti tb therapy even though efforts are made by indian medical association to educate uh, these private sector uh, uh, patient private sector doctors uh, but uh, it has to go on a long way to involve them under revised national tb control program it is hoped that uh, if uh, we take uh, these priorities into consideration uh, we hope that by 2035 we will be able to achieve the targets set by world health organization before i talk about uh, the technologies advances which are coming up i would like to say that uh, even the present services which have been uh, throughout the country are not fully yet utilized by the patients uh, there is a need to bring the patients to these dot centers and i think here the media really can play a greater role tuberculosis still remains a stigma in our country and uh, people particularly the females are 
as well as the rich uh, uh, patients do not go to the dot center to have a standard therapy and a standard care of uh, health care as for the TB is concerned. It is therefore important that uh, the patients are told about the advantage of going to the center to the health services, take advantage of uh, DOTS package which have been now enunciated in all of the country. As for the technology is concerned, you see we still are following the sputum examination by microscopy. Even though this test is specific but it has a very low sensitivity. Lead microscope which has been added in different uh, centers has helped us to increase our diagnostic yield to about 10%. But there are uh, now technology advanced where we have the cartridge based nuclear acid amplification test what we call it in general terms as Geno Expert is available. We have already around 35 sites where this has been uh, installed and more, more than 200 more sites where Geno Expert is being put and we hope with its sensitive way not only the sensitivity to diagnose tuberculosis but specificity of diagnosing these cases which are still at present are undiagnosed will increase thereby putting more and more patient under treatment and cure for them will be ensured because of the DOTS strategy. HIV and diabetes are two very important risk factors which reactivate the disease and uh, the disease which occur in these patients usually is atypical and difficult to diagnose. As for tuberculosis and HIV is concerned, the government of India is running ICCT a program under which all the TB patients are now sent to the HIV a center, ICT, ICCT center to check for their uh, TB HIV status. Presently almost 72% uh, of the patients uh, uh, who are uh, uh, having tuberculosis know about their HIV status and uh, practically 91% of the patients who are having uh, antiretro, who are having HIV have been also put antiretroviral therapy along with the tuberculosis. It's a long way to treat the disease of uh, tuberculosis because of uh, uh, these diseases when combination of ATT and uh, antiretroviral therapy is given leads to many toxic kind of uh, reactions. And uh, therefore, uh, it's important that uh, all these patients are diagnosed if need arises are admitted and they are under the expert uh, supervision. Um, with the anti-TB therapy as, as well as with the antiretroviral therapy. So, Diabetes part, uh, yes, it can also cause increase in the disease. Reactivation of the disease is more common in a diabetic uh, patient as well as other risk factors which are involved even uh, um, bad nutrition can also lead to the breakdown of uh, dormant or bacilli to active disease. And the uh, Government of India, I think, is quite aware, as uh, I understand, that uh, diabetic screening has been introduced in, in the DOT centers, uh, dot com microscopic centers all over the country. And now the patients are screened for diabetes and diabetes and tuberculosis are treated together in many of the centers. Uh, patient, people still uh, consider tuberculosis as a stigma. Um, I know, I remember a, a patient who was not married uh, because he was working in TB institute. He, he didn't even have TB because he was working in a TB institute and he, he had a rejection from uh, the parent uh, side of the girl um, that he may develop the disease. So stigma is tremendous and uh, we all know that many of uh, the females uh, who had TB um, are uh, uh, have suffered a lot uh, harassment from the f their own families. Um, therefore, uh, it is important that uh, the media must uh, convey that uh, tuberculosis is uh, curable. It is 100% curable provided you uh, go to the dot center, get yourself checked up and uh, take the treatment regularly. And uh, it is no more a stigma 
it is a disease like any disease any other disease and uh, even though nowadays the treatment duration is about 6 uh, months uh, to 9 months but uh, i am sure with the newer drugs available and with more research is going on we will further shorten the therapy to 4 months even though ultimate aim is to treat tuberculosis in 7 to 10 days with the, the therapy i hope that uh, this kind of uh, treatment will be uh, available by 2020 um, with the newer drugs uh, which are now under the phase 3 trial come up in the market and are used in combination with already available drugs so any key message that you want to convey about this my key message to the public will be don't fear from tuberculosis take advantage of government scheme in the form of dots treatment in the dots centers ensure that you take the drugs regularly whatever are prescribed by your doctor and you can be as normal as anyone else in your family provided you have completed the therapy as prescribed by your doctor nowadays under dots we say 6 months therapy can cure you as for tb is concerned